Hello. Good evening. Happy Sunday evening to you. It's about quarter to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. How's everyone doing tonight? This is going to be night two of Horticular. Which I've really been enjoying, actually. I introduced this to Mrs. Nosig. She seemed rather intrigued by it. She likes these kinds of uh, chill games, I think. I introduced her to Stardew Valley, and she absolutely loved that. So I'm not surprised that she enjoys this. And I've been enjoying it, too. So right now what we're seeing is a preview of the garden that I've been working on. What was the name? Uh, Mirabilis? Yeah, that was the name that the game assigned me. I didn't feel like changing it. I guess I wasn't feeling that creative at the time. As far as housekeeping items go, I don't believe I got any. We're just going to get right into it. Maybe wait a few minutes. You usually like to start closer to stream time. Got my trusty bottle of fluids with me. Gotta stay hydrated. I am glad that such a thing as chill games exist. Sometimes you just need a palate cleanser from stuff that's just really, really intense and sometimes graphic. Some games that keep you on the very, very edge of your seat. <clears throat> Pardon me. And I appreciate games that have a good sense of humor, too. I'm actually in the process of uploading the first playthrough that I had. So I'm keeping an eye on, on the dropped frame count because I'm really testing out, <laughs> really stressing out my internet connection. So I may have to stop that because I'm not going to stop the stream. So how long is that video? That's just a little over an hour long. I only stream like one hour per night because that's all I can spare usually. But I've settled in nicely to uh, a streaming schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and Sundays. And I'm going to be playing Horticular until I reach the end of the demo. Or until I haven't explored... There's nothing left to explore. And then we'll move on to something else. And I haven't decided what yet. I've got a few options. Um, what did I get? There's Arc Sync, which... Is a neat game, actually. I don't know if you guys know anything about it. It's an action roguelike. It's hard. And I hate to say this, but part of the reason it's difficult is because it's hard to get used to the controls. You can't currently map them on your own. Um, and it has the space... Sorry, usually in these types of games you're used to jump being on the space bar. But this one decided to go a different route and didn't give you the option to change it. So, however, the dev, who's responding to people that were complaining about it, or not really so much complaining about it, just addressing it, has decided that he's going to change the space bar. Either, either he's going to change the space bar uh, to be the jump key, or he's going to let you remap it I don't know which one he's going to go with, but either way, he's being receptive to what people are saying, which is terrific. So I applaud him for that. So that's one option. Um, Arc Sync. Although well, that game was kiss kicking, <laughs> not kissing my ass, kicking my ass. Uh, Sierra and the Beacon Path. I played that for a little bit, but that was the extent of the demo. It's really not much to it. It's just gameplay, really. There's, there's a there's a story to it, but it's not a very long demo, so I don't really think I'd play that. Um, bu, 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 bu. Lone Fungus 2. Ooh, that might be an option. I played through it a little bit on my own. I may consider that one. And if you guys know of any games that are out there that you want to see demos for, you want to... See what the gameplay is like, but you don't really feel like playing it yourself? Let me know and I'll put it on. 
I don't care. If I like it, I'll continue playing it. If I don't, I'll stop. Uh, what else? Midnight Crimes, I tried that. Actually, I'm working on a video for that, but that one's slow going. Um, it's a lot easier to make videos for games where you're gushing with praise. When you're not, I have a lot more of a difficult time because I don't want to crap on a game. I never want to crap on a game. I always try to find the positives. So, that one. Lone Fungus. I played the demo for Goblin Cleanup. I don't know if you guys know anything about that. Goblin Cleanup is a, it's a first-person perspective, but you're basically... The premise behind the game is after heroes go into a dungeon to try and steal treasure or kill a big bad evil guy, you handle the cleanup. So all of the carcasses, blood stains, you're putting you're resetting traps and putting every, everything back to normal for the next um, <laughs> next wary group of travelers. It's an interesting premise, actually. That's what got me to download it, and I'll be making a video on that one. It's just a quick first impressions video, nothing too much, because it's really... Again, not much not much to it. Uh, the demo shows off the gameplay, but that's really it. If there's going to be a story, it's there's no part of it in the demo. Actually, while I was playing it, because it gets a little bit routine while you're playing it, I started imagining a story on my own to fit the gameplay. So... That's just the way my mind works. If you don't give me a story, I'll try and make one up on my own. Uh, so what else have I got? Mutant Karate Canary. That one's going to be updated soon. Because the dev identified a bug. Standalone I played. I wouldn't mind playing that again because I enjoy that game. But yeah, there's so many, many demos out there that I can try. And there's so many indie games, period, I can try. I'll just have to find one that's the right fit. We're about five minutes out, so what do you say we get right into it, okay? Sorry, every single time I hear that, I think of um, Street Fighter. Okay. So where we left off, we had the goal of expanding our garden once more. Which... Oh, we can expand in this direction, because this costs a thousand bucks. Or here. Or here. Hmm. Let's go... Yeah, I can't go this way. I actually wouldn't mind going in this direction, because I wanted to continue the stream this way. But that's okay. Um, let's go here. So much life, space, and magic. Your efforts haven't gone unnoticed, Nasig. Thanks to you, we have more magic to harness than we have. Oh, <laughs> read the second line for a long time. This used to be a glorious and sprawling world. Plants thriving and animals frolicking. The source of the splendor was Nightshade, our guide. But problems started when Nightshade mysteriously vanished. Plants decaying. Our homes crumbling. And the animals leaving, never to be seen again. Unnaturally fast, our world turned into a barren wasteland. Since we are natural maintainers, we can't create anything new. So we used our final strength to reach out for help. And found you! With our newfound energy, we have re-established ourselves as the Council. Your Council, Nasig. And we will help you with the following tasks. Turn the wasteland into a flourishing garden. Create a thriving animal ecosystem. And protect us from whatever befell the previous gardener. Now there was something else. Something important. Ah, we'll send you a letter once we remember. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. Keep your eyes open. Oh, that's ominous. You're really telling me nothing more than that. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so... I got money to spend. Let's start converting this area. Oh, what did we find? A new lore item. I still can't believe I've been summoned to this strange world by the council. It's all so magical. Most of my day was spent learning about the different services and items I can make use of. It's amazing how quickly the environment changes as you go. The wisdom of the keepers have me stunned. They can conjure plants and items seemingly out of thin air. I thought they can't create anything. Is conjuring different than creation? Okay, whatever. I'm splitting hairs. They also showed me how to make use of the various elements in this world to create a lush landscape. I now retire for the night, and I can't help but feel a sense of excitement and wonder about what the future holds in my new world. I don't think this is what I was supposed to be looking for. What was... Or was that it? Oh, okay. I've seen these things quite a few times. Look like little fiddleheads or whatever. Okay. Let's set that to go for a little while. Ooh. Ooh. He has a sale. 33% off raised beds. A patch of soil that has been raised up in an enclosure. Not just for looks, since it also protects your plants from critters and weeds while improving drainage. Does that actually matter in this game? Like, do you have to worry about weeds and drainage? <laughs> uh, well, since it's on sale. And you can also place it on desert. Uh, do I want this or this? I can't afford both. Now let's get the raised bed. Oh, what's this? We have a letter. Karha or Kaha? Are you a bird? A new gardener. Hmm. Are you a nectar aficionado like me? Judging from your collection, not so much. My name is Corbett, and I am both a collector and connoisseur of items and nectar. Not only that, but I have been known to trade nectar for items. Sometimes even gold. You know what? If you collect some nectar of any kind, I'll open up my services for you. I, ass I assure you that you won't regret it. Good luck. Kaha, Corbett. Nectar is a resource that you collect via interaction. Moon nectar drops from fully adapted flowers at moonlit nights. Fully adapted flowers. What does that mean exactly? Creature nectar occasionally drops from animals, especially the happy ones. Corrupted nectar is carried by unsavory elements. <laughs> As a natural item settles into a spot, it becomes adapted. Oh, okay. It, it knew what question I was going to ask. That's kind of neat. Adaptation increases item value, affecting daily income and reclaim gold. Moving an item loses some of its adaptation, especially when moving when over long distances. Huh. So we can actually have a look at our adaptation here. Hmm. Huh. Okay. I don't know what the red means. Other than it hasn't adapted yet. Are these the newer parts of my garden? I'm not sure. I must have I missed a bunch of nectar. Okay. Variety. Okay. We got any upgrades? No, not really. 
Um, hmm. I'm kind of want to increase the to geologist too because I want to break up some of this marble or stone or whatever this is. Okay, so it's not an item; it's a surface type. Okay. Did we learn anything more about any other animals? Still haven't learned enough about crows. Actually, let's place some more grass. Helps us get some cash, too. Yeah, I'm going a little wild on this, but... It's okay, I don't like seeing Wasteland. Get out of there, council member. Oh, he can't move. He can't move because he can't move to a space that's currently being developed. Well, that's good to know for the future. these things are. I've completely forgotten about the Hordic Day. Every now and then, garden masters from many worlds get together in a grand horticultural event. We call it the Hordic Day, and it is organized by a few old keepers. Very old. In fact, we're not sure how old they are. Probably ancient. In the festivities, each garden master is ranked on their performance. This part is where you will eventually be crowned a legendary horticulturist. There's also a themed competition to win prizes and a medal ceremony for accomplishing specific feats. The first event is coming up, but you need a high garden love to stand a chance. So make sure to have a high so make sure to have a high garden love foundation before the event takes place. Garden love is the overall condition of your garden. Variety of items and services, selection of different environments, happy animals of numerous species, total explorable area. More love means an increased income bonus and a higher Hordic Day score. Okay. So we received a task. Get Garden Love to 25%. Might as well track that one because the other one is just waiting. Okay. Oh. We've got a bumblebee. Hello, Mr. Bumblebee. Stop flying so fast. Oh, not. Uh, where do you want to go? Well, you really only have one choice, so... Bum, 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 bum. Red Velvet. Flowery. That's it, eh? Man, that's expensive. But we need more, we need more plant diversity, so let's get Red Velvet. And I can put one of these down. Oh. Hey, dude. Alright, one more, and then we should learn how to attract crows. That'll be cool. Hmm. There's lots of places I can put this. Who needs more happiness. So this has a love of 179%. That's pretty awesome. What about you? 126. It's okay. Uh, but, you know what? I'll put it here. <laughs> That's pretty much it.
I need to start doing uh, planning something for this area here. Maybe a stream to join the pond from here. I wonder if you'll be able to build bridges, bridges over streams. That would be nice. We certainly could do a stream, couldn't we? The trouble I have is I'm always thinking, well, a stream has to lead somewhere, so then where is it going to lead? Maybe I should just stick with a pond over here for now. money to do anything with right now because I spent it on uh, flowers. Oh, is that nectar? And there's nectar. think one of the tasks that I have is to have what? How many was it? Like 35 lily pads? Or water lilies? So yeah, that'll help. I don't want to just spam it because I wouldn't do that in real life. Oh, the Ewok has new goods. What's he got? Two things I can afford. I think I'm going to wait. <laughs> Why is my garden love going down? I think it was at 20%. Now it's 17 in here. We want goldfish or do we want frogs? Let's get some more frogs up in this joint. Water land. Oh, we have critical issues. Nasig. Yesterday we were contacted by some of our fellow keepers. They wondered if now would be a good time to settle in Mirabilis. Truth be told, we don't think so, because they wouldn't have anywhere to live. So we've provided you with a home for them. Just place a cottage in the garden and a curious keeper eventually appears. Each keeper comes with some upkeep. In return, they tend to the garden and prevent decay. Try attracting a new keeper to Mirabilis. Hmm. That's handy. Uh, oops. Keeper Cottage costs 500. Can't build it on water, duh. Home Sweet Gnome. A small home fit with hearth and heart to care for your helpful keepers. 
Supposedly, they are larger on the inside, but surely that is not a thing. I don't know, you ever seen Doctor Who? If I were a keeper, where would I want to live? How about right here? Anyway, back to this habitat. I need a stone for basking. Oh, that was fast. Sure, buddy. You move in right there. Why can't you move in? Oh, because there's corruption? Uh, hold on a second, dude. I missed this. That was... Hmm, okay. Hurrah! More keepers means more company for us and more assistance for you. This is a big step for us, Nasig. When we summoned you, we didn't dare dream about the day that our numbers would be increasing. With more keepers comes a better ability to tend the garden and harness its magic. We, keepers, are also known as elves, or gnomes, and inhabit most fertile worlds. In fact, we even have relatives back in yours. But they seem to primarily keep... <laughs> to themselves, and their helping hands have uh, now become forgotten. This is a significant step. Well done. Keepers help maintain a healthy garden. They restore decay and collect valuable items. Once upgraded, they can heal animals and banish nefarious entities. In addition to needing a home, keepers come with an upkeep cost. Yeah, you've already told me that. Magician. Anyway, we needed some foliage, which we got from that. Um, let's try putting one of these raised beds right here. And, oh, I don't know, right here. Wow, I'm starting to see decay more often. Oh, did you hear that? He's working away over here, too. Look at him go. Oh, thanks, buddy. Um, but I'm going to help you out here because I don't want that to spread. What task did I complete? Oops. Don't mean to lift that up. Oh, you did it. Very well, Nasig. I hereby open up my services to you. Please come by and trade any time. I have wares that Mercury wouldn't even dream of acquiring. Oh, I wonder what that means. I've also heard about illusory corrupted nectar. I don't know where you would find them, but I would love to trade them from you. Hope to see you soon. Trader. This is an item in the current selection. This area shows item details when perusing. Trade between nectar and gold. Hmm. So, selling step costs one yellow nectar. Not really much I can afford right now. I might wait for that one. Oh my god, number of critical items. Where's water lilies? There we go. That too much? I guess okay. We have enough foliage. 
Or as Marge Simpson calls it, foilage. Okay. Well, I'm sure there will be a goldfish or frog that comes along any second. Let's put some more reeds in here. it. Plantain Lily. To connect with uh, through this plot here, I have just one big square, but I need to raise four thousand. Okay. Oh, we got a goldfish. All right, man, where do you want to go? One hundred and thirty-four percent. That's good. I'm going to hold on to most of my money here. <laughs> Nothing I want there. Oh. Okay, so I have the number, the amount of energy needed to get this. I just don't have the money. Lots of poop. Okay, that's fine. Let's just fast forward a bit. Uh oh. We got badness going on. Stop trying to hurt my stuff. Oh, these guys are fast. We got a guest, the crow. Oh, we learned crow. Get all the nectar. Okay, so what do we need for a crow? We need land. We need tall, and we need vegetable. And we can't have frogs, because... I guess we just can't. So, land. Interesting. So these are all... Well, this is not considered land. This is, this is, and obviously water is not. So we've got plenty of land... We don't have anything that's tall, do we? Nope. Well, that's a problem. And I don't think we have anything that's considered vegetable either. It might be, it might have to be something that I buy, which, uh, doesn't really jive with wanting to save my money. Nothing in here that's tall. No, wait, this is cattail. The genus in the same order as reeds that can grow up to three meters tall. They can be distinguished by the cigar shaped head in fertilized females. Okay. I gotta save money for that. Unless there's something in here we can buy that's tall.
No, no, no. Well, let's just spend a little bit of cash. A little bit. Too much. Not too much. Fierro there, or the red velvet. I don't want to spend any more because I need the 4K for this area. Ooh. You absolutely may. Welcome. I'm curious to see how many more I need. Eighty three per cent. for this. Water lilies make a wonderful scene, and you have so many of them. Did you know that animals can walk on them? Oh, okay. Could come in handy at some point. I'll be providing you with Victoria lilies from now on, uh, from now on, along with a small donation so you can try them out. You deserve it, Nasig. Until next time. Okay. What is that? Foliage shading, put it in water, but not a stream. A large-leaved genus of water lilies. Named after 19th century Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom, the largest species, Victoria Amazonica, grows leaves up to three meters in diameter. Holy crap. Uh, oh, man. I screwed myself over. Now I'm not going to get four million. Or four thousand, I should say. Well, if that's the case, let's plunk one down there. All right, you have my attention, Nasig. You clearly show some dedication to the aquatic arts. However, I have something in mind that displays a further appreciation of aquatics. I want you to provide a home for five or more frogs in your garden. You'll need some aquatic space, I'm sure. Frogs have small nesting areas and need access to water, plants, and basking. I think you can figure out the details. Accomplish this and you'll have shown that you can not only handle water, but also that you can manage aquatic habitats. In return, you will receive a gift your frogs will love. Whoops. Itchy trigger finger. Okay, so... They need basking. And the only thing I have for basking is this stone. Just want to focus on frogs for a bit. So they need foliage, and yeah, I know I'm saying that wrong on purpose.
Do you have anything that's tall? Ah, what about you? Nope, wrong place. Hmm. Nothing that's tall. Do they need more space? Actually, wait a minute. Frogs may not show up when it's raining. No, they don't care. They actually prefer the rain. Okay. So then why am I not getting more frogs? Let's make this pond a little bit bigger. One, eh? Okay. Ah, oh, finally. Hello. Where would you like to go, frog? Well, there's really only one option for you. Well, you don't seem to be terribly impressed with that spot. Maybe add more foliage. That's the cheaper way to go. Yeah. Get some variety. you may move in. Move in... Oh, this spot sucks. Why would you want to be here? This habitat's garbage. We gotta improve this. Because he's got, what, a bunch of tiles of... Oh, I'm in overlay mode. He's got path, which doesn't really do him any good. Let's replace this path with grass and a couple of raised beds. Why not? And some flowers and some Red velvet. And, oh, I don't know. Oh, we don't have any yarrow over here. How's that looking now? Well, 63%. That's significantly better. We still have... Tiles I can't get through. Can't get through these yet. Great work, Nasig. You should be good for your first Hordic day. Every 11 days, a new event takes place, where you will be scored by combining your gardening experience and garden love. You'll see. Speaking of experience, the more you unlock and complete, the more experience you have, eventually earning you a new gardener rank. You can check the journal summary for your progress on that. See if you can attain a title on the next Hordic day. Good luck. Best regards, the Council. 
attain a title during Hordic Day. Okay. What other tasks do I have? Eyes open. This is just waiting. Um, and I need five frogs. And I think I have, like, what? Two? That's going to take a while. Although now... I can have a stream going through here. I'm going to do that. from this pond. Oh, sorry, I don't want to miss out on any nectar. Oops. Oh, well. More nectar. And I believe that's it. Oh. It's got some new stuff. What do you got? Pedestal. Coffee maker. Okay. Savannah, hmm. Seismometer, magically enchanted seismometer. Based on lost technology, it reaches into the future for predictions. With a gentle tap, you can see when the next earthquake is due. Is that something we have to contend with, is earthquakes? Oh, boy. Okay. Well, let's just fast forward to the beginning of the next day. as many challenges as possible. Hello there, Nasig. We hope this letter finds you well. We're just reminding you that the Hortic Day is coming up in five days. As usual, we have a themed quest with grand prizes for you to win. This time, the quest is as follows. Complete as many challenges as possible. Okay. Um, challenges, challenges. Here we go, challenges. Have 15 animals settled. Working on that. Have a garden love of 70%. That's going to be tough. Have 25% of all upgrade levels. Dig a sample of granite. Dig a sample of bauxite. Marble. Basalt. I don't know how to say that. I'm assuming that's probably wrong. Spend 10k in the store. Have 10k in the bank. Complete 28 days. Wow. Okay, so... Yeah. Uh, 15 animals settled seems to be the closest one I can do. Do I have any animals in here that just like streams? It says water, but it doesn't say streams. Oh, a rat! One unhappy creatures. What? Why are you unhappy? Need to get home. Where did you come from? Oh. Oh, I accidentally penned him in there. Because I guess he couldn't get through the rock and... Oh, whoops. I have to be careful with that. Let's put some more grass here. What did I just get?
Is that a lore item? No. Spiral slab. Cryptic stone slab with an intricate spiral etched into its surface, exuding an enigmatic aura that draws the eye. Presumably used in constructing something arcane. Okay. I accidentally screwed up part of my stream here. Okay, it's looking okay. Now, let's see. Hmm. I'm actually going to have the stream widen a bit here. Oh, what's this? I missed this. Oh no, one of your creatures... Oh yeah, I saw, I solved that problem. Uh, many things make creatures unhappy, such as a poor habitat, being unable to get home, which is what happened. Friends leaving the garden. Pick up a creature for it to tell you what it currently needs. Very unhappy, unhappy creatures turn miserable. The only cure is to pamper them with love. Oh, we have a guest. Where is it? What are you? Oh, you're a rat. Okay, a couple more times, then we'll know how to build habitats for those guys. Still nothing that I have that I can use to build... Um, a crow habitat. I'm looking for things that are tall, but it's not showing up in any of the stores. Is someone attending to this critical item? Because I don't feel like they are. I guess I'll take care of it. you to a stream. All right, Mercury, what do you got? Oh, you got a boulder. That's perfect. <laughs> Excuse me. I just had a hiccup. All right. Um... Now, I was still trying to attract more frogs. Oh, rhododendron. I'm guessing we can't have... Yeah, we can't have water lilies. Or, sorry. Wait. Oh, right. This part is still pond. Or, yeah. So that's why that's allowed. Okay. that one right there. Ah, these critical areas, man. It's 
hard to do that quickly. Oh man, I just left that area. Let's build a flower bed alongside here. Tulips. Mainly because I don't have any other flowers, really. Well, you know what? Let's start buying some of this stuff. You need the variety. Alright, so let's look at attracting a crow. Oh, I don't have anything vegetable. Do I? No. No, I don't. Keep having to deal with these. Oh, crap. What's going to happen? I got an earthquake coming in 15 seconds, and nobody's really told me to expect an earthquake. So, this will be interesting. Holy cannoli. That is an earthquake, Nossig. They're infrequent, but once in a blue moon they occur, damaging all of your items. There's no simple way to predict when, when one will happen, so maybe we just have to cross our fingers that they don't? Anyway, we just thought you would want to know. See you around? Yeah, like I didn't know there was a freaking earthquake. <laughs> Saw another one down here. There we go. I still have this task for keep your eyes open, but it doesn't say anything about for what. And it's been at 50% for a little while. Hmm. Ooh, rhododendrons on sale. And it would take all the money that I have. Ugh. Eh. Why not? Well, not all the money. I'm left with 0.27. So yeah, all my money. Well, I can try and get some back. Oh, I can build over this. Aha! A sample of marble. Marble is a soft rock compared to others, and it is frequently used as an ornamental material for buildings and sculptures in your homeworld. Hmm. What was it called now again? Erp? Anyway, marble can be quite pretty in our opinion, and you can now plonk down as much of it as you want in the garden. The council. Okay. 
So what are the characteristics of this? Uh, marble. Bedrock and land. Created from limestone under high pressure and high temperature conditions. Okay. So I don't know when, where we're going to use it. But we have access to it now. I had just assumed I wouldn't be able to build through it, but I guess I can. Still don't have any vegetables yet. I don't know what I'm supposed to do to get them. Oh man. Is there another earthquake or something? What happened? Maybe I need another keeper over here. Crap, I don't have the money for it, but uh, you know what? Let's just fast forward. Oh, crap. We got the badness. All right, let's trigger the wave. Is that it? That must just be it for that wave. Oh, no, they're over here. Shit. Crap. Yeah, I'm going to try and put another keeper's uh, cottage down in this area. So this is where they seem to be getting corrupted most often. So let's just fast forward. No nectar. Okay. Keeper's Cottage. So do I have to worry about the habitats for the keepers? I guess I do, eh? Only 25%? That's kind of crappy. What do keepers need? Just housing, that's it. No? Well, Alright. down some rhododendrons. Oh, we've got a visitor. Is it a rat? Yeah, it looks like it. One more visit and then we'll have a rat in our neighborhood. Whoopsie, did you see that, Nasig? Lightning struck in Mirabilis. You're in no immediate danger, but if you are unlucky, a strike can hit one of your items and cause a lot of wear and tear. In general, lightning occurs during thunderstorms, so most of the time you don't have to worry. But keep your eyes open during stormy weather. 
Don't know why there's no sun up in the sky. Stormy weather. Sorry. Oh. We got a keeper. Man, we can move him in right here. There you go, bud. I'm gonna help keep my garden in shape. This part looks really busy. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to change that at some point. Oh, you got new upgrades. Treasure hunter. Upgrades cost less. It's uh, nothing I can really want to use. What challenges do we currently have? 15 animals settled. Spend 10k in the store. Oh, that actually seems doable. That'll complete one challenge, I guess. Need to raise the money, though. do something with this area here. Let's do two rhododendrons. Ah, no boulder yet. Trying not to be if I if I start planning it too much, it, it becomes way too symmetrical and starts looking unnatural. So I'm just gonna start throwing stuff at it until it looks the way that I think it should. This is bauxite, okay. Actually, got anything? Ooh. Sure. Did I spend 10k yet? Oh, so close. One critical areas. Items, sorry. Words are hard. A little bit of moonshine. already on it. My bad. Now let's just set this to convert to grass. Need different types of uh, different types of flowers, flowers that actually go into flower beds. Because there's, I mean, I've got what, I've got the tulips, but there's different colors. 
that you can get in the store. it for all of the nectar. Ah, you know what? Let's put a boulder here in case a crow decides to hang out. You can always move them. Whoa. What's this? Oh, it's Hordic Day. Experience gained by increasing your collection, uncovering lore, and upgrading your abilities. Wow, I surely didn't do anything as far as upgrades go. Gardener level. Progress by gaining experience. I am an apprentice planter. Okay. Cool. Garden love. Grow your garden, increase the variety, and attract animals to gain love. Okay, that's... I set a record. Contestant standing. Oh, wow, I... I... suck. <laughs> There's no way around it. I suck. Ugh. Okay. Complete as many challenges as possible. Oh, I did? Oh no, I only completed one. Wow. Achieve feats of gardening skill to be awarded medals. So I got medals for entering the... F oh, this is basically a participation trophy. Awarded for being popular mail destination. So... This has nothing to do with me. This is just people sending me stuff. Uh, huh. Okay, so... These aren't for any sort of personal achievement. This is just for playing the game, really. Ugh. I didn't do very well on my Hordic day. <laughs> yes! Your beautiful care for Mirabilis is paying off. And you clearly have enough experience to deserve the title of Apprentice Planter. Becoming a legendary cult horticulturist is a significant step closer, Nasig. Also, a global rank of 558, it was actually 559, thank you very much, already? Wow. We've heard a lot of buzz around you and our Keeper Network. At this rate, you will surely become number one in no time. Nothing could stop you now, not even ancient evils. <laughs> in the meantime, we wanted to check in with one of our friends. We'll get back to you shortly. The Council. Well, nothing will stop me except for the end of my stream, which is now, actually. Oh, wait, what's this? This doesn't look friendly. Uh huh. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. Who's this guy? <laughs> you have made quite the splash on your first hoarding day. Newcomer of the ages. A rising star. Huh. <laughs> Hyperbole. You've yet to learn about true gardening. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, it's just... Uh, the fact that this guy... See, I mean, the letter was black. And this guy's name is Nemesis. And he doesn't look like a friendly individual. And he's giving you crap about gardening. Uh, I find that funny. Well, it seems you managed to overcome some unfortunate incidents... In Mirabilis, very well keep on resisting, Nasig, but unfortunately that means I have to escalate my efforts. Oh, I'll keep myself brief. Wait till your third paragraph to say that? Okay. I only pursue the eradication of Mirabilis, and it would be a shame should anything happen to you in the process. Why? So return to your original world and I will leave you in peace. Otherwise you will end up an obstacle in my path. It sounds like I already am an obstacle in your path. You don't want to be an obstacle. From now on, I am your nemesis. Signed, Nemesis. Oh man, this is this is cute. This is funny. Oh. 
This is not good. Not good at all. We may have read your last letter now, Sig. It really gives us the creeps. Big time! Who is that nemesis character? And why are they so keen on ruining Mirabilis? Surely it can't be real. Hmm. We did have an unex we did have unexplained incidents lately. And if the letter is true, we need to take it seriously. Better safe than sorry. From what we know, this could even be linked to Nightshade's disappearance. Hmm. We know nothing of Nemesis's motives. Nothing about their strengths and weaknesses. How did Nemesis even find, let alone ally with the corrupted keepers? So much to figure out. We have only one course of action. We will dive into our library over the day. Perhaps the written word can shed light on the situation. It is time for the Council to spring into action. We'll get back to you tomorrow. Until then, just keep at it. You've been doing great so far, Nasig. Hmm. I didn't expect to actually get a letter from the Big Bad. Oh. End of demo. And so ends the demo. The story won't progress further, but in the full release you can look forward to concluding the Nemesis story, hundreds of items and surface types, many unique animal species to attract, more adventures of garden creativity, and much more. Remember to wish list for release updates. Okay. Uh, I'm probably still going to play through this, but I don't know if I'm going to necessarily stream this anymore unless you guys want to see more of it. Uh, that's at least the end of the story mode for now. But if you like this, let me know. And if you've played this, also let me know. And if you haven't played this and you've made it this far, let me know what you think anyway. I've enjoyed this, and it's actually made the time fly by quite a bit. Um, I'm probably going to get better at, at gardening layout, but that's not really saying much. <laughs> the garden doesn't look... Uh, it doesn't look that good. I'm not terribly fond of it. But I'll keep cracking away at it. I think I'll probably get, play this game on on release. Oh, got a bumblebee. But we'll worry about the bumblebee later. For now, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, let me know. And if you haven't, well, also let me know. But chances are I'm going to be streaming something different next time around. So if you have any requests, let me know. Message me on... You can just send me a DM on Twitter... Or um, find another way to get a hold of me. I'm not that hard to get a hold of. But until then, hope you had a good, e good evening. And I'll see you next time. So long.